Friends were out harvesting lavender. I did not expect to do this tonight, but we had severe thunderstorms and then they passed and I have a little bit of daylight left. So I figured the lavender is washed by the rain and the bees are all off of it and it needs to be done. It's actually a day or two past when I should have done it, but life. So this is the length I'm going to cut it. Now, lavender harvesting is a great side hustle idea for stay-at-home moms. There's a million things you can do with that. I'll probably do another video on it. But even if you don't want to use it, I'm going to dehydrate mine. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or I don't know what I'm going to do after that because I have a lot of it. But when you prune, it has to be pruned also. So even if you don't use it, see the green and see the brown, you have to cut it on the green. You can't cut it on the brown or nothing new will grow. I'm losing the light, but I just want to show you there are other lavender shrubs down there that look kind of frumpy because I didn't prune them, but there's plenty for the pollinators. And this all came from one shrub. So this is it in, this, in the house. The lighting is weird in here, but it is a beautiful, vibrant purple. And my plan for this at the moment is just to cut the stems a little shorter and dehydrate this. But right now my dehydrator is busy. It is filled with some basil. It's really weird. I harvested basil earlier today and I harvested twice as much as what's in here. I rinsed it. I put it on a dish towel. I know how to play the game and half of it turned brown really fast. So I'm wondering if it's heavily chlorinated water. But here you can see the jars that I reuse and I love this little typeset label maker. And I put my dehydrated herbs in these. The, all these things like the label maker and the dehydrator and the mason jars are all in my Amazon storefront, which is in my bio. So I have two jars of lavender and one jar of lilacs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the lilacs, but I've already used half of one of the jars of lavender. And I'm thinking of infusing honey with it. Sometimes we plan on harvesting when we want, but nature has other plans for us. 